Hello, my dear students. Welcome to my Google. In this video, we will discuss about important diagrams for a uh, second PUC annual examination. Okay. Since for many days, most of you were asking for the diagrams which are frequently asked in a previous year examination. So I have made a list of all those diagrams by referring to some uh, six to seven question papers of uh, previous years. Okay. So without wasting time, we'll uh, go through the video. Right. And one more thing, uh, uh, I have prepared this video only based on the 70% syllabus that has been 30% has been removed by the PU board Karnataka. So I have just written those diagrams which are retained in the 70% of the syllabus. Okay. And uh, the main notice of the diagrams is uh, if the diagram is drawn very well but no levelings, such diagrams will carry zero marks. Means diagrams without levelings carry zero marks. Second one, if the diagram is asked for a three mark, then the diagram must have minimum six levelings. And then if the diagram is asked for a five mark, then the diagram must have at least 10 levelings, eight to 10 levelings. Then only you can get three out of three or five out of five in diagrams. Okay. And very importantly, if you are really interested in listening to the video, watch till the end. Otherwise, leave it now only. Okay, don't uh, tend to be like watching the video. If you are really interested, watch the video till then or else leave it now only. Fine. So, without wasting time, let us go with the diagrams. First one, TS of Young Anther. So, here you should draw the transfer section of the Young Anther showing the four wall layers. Second one, enlarged view of a microsporangium. Here you should show all the four wall layers with the, all the labelings. Okay, next. LS of anatropus ovule. Here you should show all those parts including from embryo sac, nucellus, integuments, funicle, microbial, etc. All parts must be shown here. Next, mature embryo sac. Here you must have to mention clearly the antipodals towards chalazal end and synergies towards micropylar end. That's very much important in the examination. Okay, next. Growth of pollen tube. I mean the transfer section of a flower showing the growth of pollen tube. After pollination, the pollen tube germinates inside the style that you should show with this diagram. Next, dicot embryo. Okay, so don't confuse with the hypocotyle and cotyledon okay hypocotyl is just a part of embryo below the cotyledon so show it properly next monocot embryo or grass embryo here you can show all the parts mainly the coleoptile coleorize don't confuse with that okay coleoptile and coleorize coleoptile is a part which covers the plumule coleorize will cover the radical so make it clear next monocot seed here you should show the aileron layer compulsorily. It's not given in this diagram, but you should show the aileron layer completely or perfectly. Next, male reproductive system from human reproduction. So do not miss the important parts in this diagram. So it will be asked for five marks. Minimum ten labelings must be there. Next, female reproductive system. So here you should show ovary, the fallopian tube uterus on all the three layers of the uterus clearly next mammary gland will be asked for a three mark the section of uh, uh, seminiferous tubules will be asked for three marks show show all those levels like primary secondary uh, spermatocytes next structure of human sperm the diagram may be asked for five mark so label the parts properly and draw the diagram properly next sectional view of a human ovary. So here you should show all those stages of the follicles, primary follicle, secondary follicle, tertiary follicle, graphene follicle, okay, and corpus luteum also should not miss in this diagram. It will be asked for five marks. Next, 
schematic representation of spermatogenesis the left left part and the oogenesis the right part in examination they will ask either spermatogenesis or oogenesis so when spermatogenesis is asked should write only the first two columns if the oogenesis is asked should write the last two columns here next schematic representation of a menstrual cycle here you should show all the four phases of the menstrual cycle all the four phases of the menstrual cycle including a uh, ovulation including ovulation clearly okay formation of carpus luteum and all other stages of the carpus you should show and you should also show the enzymes like estrogen progesterone etc very much exactly next in the reproductive health only two diagrams are there one is from a vasectomy other one is a tubectomy next from genetics monohybrid cross then dihybrid cross so in monohybrid and dihybrid you have to show clearly the parents and their f1 crossing or cell pollination then f2 generation genotypic ratio and phenotypic ratio next structure of watson and crick model of dna okay here you should show the two strands nitrogen bases minor groove ma major groove hydrogen bonds 5 prime and 3 prime and completely and clearly then structure of nucleosome structure of a nucleosome you have to mention clearly the histone protein h1 histone dna core histone everything next structure of transcription unit from molecular basis of inheritance the uh, promoter must be there uh, terminator must be there structural gene coding strand template strand all should be there next is life cycle of a plasmodium the malarial parasite you have to show all those stages for five mark next structure of antibody molecule the diagram may be asked for a three mark so all labelings are compulsory only four five are there should label all those things next replication of retroviruses so you should show how the virus enters the animal cell how it uh, release the dna how it uh, how it form the dna by river transcription how it incorporates with animal cell then how it to form new viruses come out of the animal cell completely you should show here then from biotechnology you have to show the steps in formation of the recombinant dna by the action of a restriction endonucleases okay the sticky ends must be clearly shown here then diagrammatic representation of a recombinant dna technology so foreign dna cutting joining and formation of a transformant into a recombinant clearly next agros gel electrophoresis we have to show the smaller bands largest bands wells okay clearly agros gel then pbr plasmid of bolivar and rodriguez here it is very important to mention the ampicillin resistant gene tetracycline resistant gene and the oras site clearly if you miss any one of these three you will lose marks okay ori site is very much important the ampicillin resistant gene is important tetracycline gene is important like that all the genes should be mentioned in their own place pst1 pbu1 ecor1 etc all should be there in their respective places next schematic representation of a pcr polymerase chain reaction you have to show all the three stages like a denaturation annealing and extension next simple steel tank bioreactor okay so here you should show all minimum six labelings if the diagram is asked for three marks lastly the sparsed steel tank bioreactor may be asked for three marks you should show all those four labelings in the diagram very much clearly okay so with this we want to conclude the video before that if you like the video please share this video with your other friends who are attending the pu examination this year and uh, if you are visiting our channel for the first time please press on that subscribe button there is no loss if if you press on that subscribe button red colored button okay so all of you just make use of the video watch the video and pass on but you will not press on that subscribe button so there is no loss if you press on it so please I'm requesting you please press on the subscribe button and 
share the video as long as possible and uh, if you have any more doubts regarding any subject any topic in biology please add a comment so that i can come back to you with a answer very soon okay with this we'll wind up the video see you in the next video till that keep learning thank you bye bye